Winterthur, 30 miles from Zurich in northern Switzerland, is a service and high-tech industry center. Perhaps that's why the 100,000 plus inhabitants openly embrace innovation, especially when it's seen to be an overwhelming success. None more so than specialist Dr. Christian Bush. His recent paper into the treatment of chronic ulcers is convincing even cell-sonic skeptics. Many times people tell us it sounds too good to be true. And I have to admit, in the beginning, I didn't believe it either. I had to see it, and I had to see it over and over again to believe it. And now, using the machine every day, I know it is good, and I know it is true. This is a cell sonic electrohydraulic shockwave machine. The machine creates a shock via a spark. What it's doing is it's making the cell just move and that stimulates a little bit of an electric discharge from the cell. That change in the voltage is stimulating healing at a deep cellular level and so it's unique in that way. Now CellSonic can do that and actually heal the wound and remember the NH isn't, isn't healing the wound, it's a non-healing wound so it goes on forever with the tissue viability nurse coming in and changing the dressings twice a week and that's where a lot of money is, is wasted and spent. Cellsonic can heal that wound, close it up, and it stays permanently closed. And we can do that. And that's there, and it's available now. We can supply the machines, and they will then see the saving just rolling up as plus signs in their budget. The Cellsonic technology uh, is extremely mm. powerful because it's taken quite an old idea and put quite a new twist on it. The uh, shockwave therapy appear to have quite extraordinary uh, wound healing effects. Uh, we're absolutely sure that this is to do with both the shockwave therapy uh, increasing uh, the blood flow, so it works from a vascular angle, and also we have some theories about the way uh, the wave front is possibly uh, stimulating the immune system uh, and helping the wounds heal from that angle. The, uh, the treatment itself is totally non-invasive. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say it's certainly not painful. If anything, it more tickles when you actually uh, receive the so-called shocks. These aren't, of course, electric shocks. These are light physical shocks. From the clinical re results that we have seen, we can expect that we, that we are able to close about 50% of wounds that had been unsuccessfully being treated by all other methods. So, taking in charge that we have stopped our screening after four to five months, it will even that number will be increasing. Most aware of the capabilities of uh, the Sonic machine, one, for example, was a, a woman brought in by her daughter, and she developed uh, her chronic wound um, a short while after the birth of her daughter, and the daughter is 50 years old. So it was a 50 years open wound. And we could close it after, I think it was five treatments within three months. We developed the device completely in-house. And now we have been manufacturing it for past uh, more than 10 years. It is uh, easy to use, it is economical, and last but not least, it is absolutely safe. Dr. Bush is so convinced about the effectiveness and safety of CellSonic that he's using it to help heal his daughter's non-diabetic wound. The major benefit is that we really do increase um, time of wound healing. Even wounds that didn't heal before, they start to heal. Even sleeping wounds or, or dormant wounds, they will start healing. So we um, shorten the suffering time for patients and we dramatically, cost, uh, um, um, we dramatically lower the cost of treatment. But back to diabetic ulcers and the success rate of Dr. Bush at his Swiss clinic. He's successfully treated more than 200 wounds. Today, 180 of them are closed. In my eyes, um, the Sasonic machine at the moment is the only means that really avoids um, amputations in people with and in patients with diabetic wounds, yes. Wound healing and uh, ulcers of the leg is more common in the cases of Cellsonic, which we are using now, prove good all over the world. We have Link, and I, I'm practicing, and there are guys from Taiwan, New Zealand, uh, Latin America, and India. 
on diabetic ulcer, we have a six weeks period and you get full healing. In a traditional way, whatever we use in various types of dressing with anti soaked with antiseptics, the local uh, management, the local antibiotic, the general antibiotics, it takes six months plus to clear the wound or may not to clear it. Uh, with Sersonic, we have proven by taking biopsy, sequence biopsies from the area, and we analyze, we find that it encourages the healing by killing the bacteria locally and by increasing the vascularity and by increasing the immunity in the area and the oxygenation where you need them to uh, clear the uh, ulcer and the wounds. That we can heal ulcers that are caused by diabetes and kill off the infection that is associated with that, resulting in saving limbs from being amputated. The risk is low, the rewards are high. Clinical trials have already proven that this machine works and works well in 90% of all cases. And we know that it's, there is going to be such a phenomenal demand for this product that the rewards are going to be great. Well, as a nurse, I think the potential for wound healing um, is vast. Um, a big area of wounds that nurses care for is uh, leg ulcers, often because the patient is diabetic. Um, that requires them to have regular dressings um, every other day, possibly, maybe every day. But the cost of dressings is enormous these days. And that, in conjunction with the, the professionals required to do the dressings, uh, makes the whole procedure very expensive, which Celsonic um, could really reduce. It does diminish the need for amputations as well because you're improving the circulation, you're healing the wound, um, which often doesn't happen. Uh, you can be dressing a wound for years and years and years and it still doesn't improve. It might reduce slightly in size, but it's always um, an, an area prone to breaking down again. Um, often diabetics end up having their toes um, amputated and then it gradually progresses up the limb uh, and they end up losing the whole leg. Uh, because this infection just never goes away and the circulation is so poor, Whereas with the use of cell sonic, you're improving the circulation, you're um, reducing the infection much quicker, um, and of course you don't need to be involved in any dra dressings, you can just put a dry dressing on after the treatments. Shockwave has become very well known for its ability to have dramatic effects in speeding up the healing process. Normally with what they call radial shockwave, the penetration is only about half a centimetre. Because it's basically a sound wave, it penetrates much, much deeper. And so we're able to use this to get to uh, joints so it can work with hip joints, it can work on the lumbar spine, the lower part of the back, and it can also help to stimulate healing within the bone. So it goes beyond what you can do with a normal radial shockwave and stimulates the healing even deep within the tissues. If you, if you leave the ulcer, it may aim to gangrene, and gangrene will spread in the area, and then you may lose a leg or, or a patient life if, if you get toxin in the system or hit all the body, and fish may die with toxemia, we call it. So Celsonic, as stopping the spread of the ulcer and the gangrene in the area. It, it, of course, it will save the patient's leg and keep him mobile. Well, it's a bit depending on the situation the patient had been, but um, as a chronic wound, as the name says, is, is they're suffering for, for months, nearly years, um, most of the patients are very happy. Uh, it is. If you have the situation on, if you see the situation on your own, you have a wound that will not close, no, it will grow and it stinks. Every morning you have to deal with it. You have to see that, yeah, you're going to die. Um, that is depressing most of the patient. And we had patients that, well, for the beginning, before the treatment, I had the very clear feeling that they were to give up. And when they have seen that the wound start to close, they completely changed their behavior and their situation. 
Well, wound healing is quite common. It can surely avoid amputation and uh, you cannot value the limbs. So it is priceless. We go on developing the device every year. It's a continuous process. The most important thing is the engine remains the same. Yes. There's no doubt in Dr. Bush's mind that if Cellsonic was in widespread use, amputations would be avoided, beds would be freed, and money would be saved. The effect that we know that we have a device that really helps in treating wounds uh, is not available to the broad population. Uh, to me it's very surprising and sad at the same time because I know that we can help people but they don't know it. So it's not available, unfortunately. But Dr. Bush hasn't always been a convert. He too was skeptical about success. Were claims of the healing potential exaggerated? Was Cellsonic nothing more than a gimmick? I got convinced by the Cellsonic machine just by the very fact by using it. In the beginning I was approached by the company and they asked us whether we were interested in, in testing it for treating uh, chronic wounds or ulcers. And I said yes, I was working at the university hospital taking care of wound patients every day. That's, that was my job at that time. And so we, we were able to receive um, one of these machines. We started treating patients in daily practice with wounds that wouldn't heal for a year, two years, five years, 20 years. So really um, very difficult, um, uh, difficulty treating wounds. And we started to treat the first few patients. They came back a few weeks later for a second treatment and all the wounds had improved. And this was very amazing for us because we didn't really expect it. But healing hasn't only been achieved with diabetic ulcers. In addition to treating chronic wounds that have been around for years or months, um, we started using the Cellsonic machine in our daily practice on any type of wound that is showing up. So patients with um, post-operation wounds or sometimes we have some, some scarring disability, uh, problems or sometimes the wounds are a little bit wet and, and we, we need to speed up the process. So on any kind of skin condition that is not really healing well, even within a week or two, we routinely started using it and we see a big, big benefit for all these kind of wounds. I've seen it and so I know it's not too good to be true. I've actually seen the results of, uh, of the treatments and it is amazing and I was very skeptical of the whole procedure until I actually saw the results and I just think it's a no-brainer and it would save the NHS a fortune. We've had some really, really good feedback on it, particularly with problems with hips, particularly things with Achilles tendon injuries, uh, ligament injuries, even people with arthritis of, of the knee joint. We've had a couple of people start to see really good improvement with that. So we're really pleased with the feedback that we've been getting with the machine. Well, I mean, it is absolutely enormous because if you look at the point of view of healing, not only wounds, but maybe uh, certainly lots of interest uh, in stimulating uh, the healing for fractures as well, for example, it'll, it'll stimulate the bone growth. So it certainly suits uh, the sort of hospital's plan and, uh, and it saves money. It's an absolute win-win-win all round. Sometimes things which seem too good to be true are, but there is a mounting um, background of evidence now, not only from the UK, but from India, from Germany, from South America, from China, and so forth, that this actually works. I think within the not too distant future, the sheer mountain of evidence should hopefully convince the cynics that we're actually onto something here. But how does it work? And why does it work? What happens when we use the Cellsonic machine on chronic wounds? We know from, from measuring um, blood circulation that instantly after treating wounds, we have an increase of blood circulation. So blood supply is being improved, which is important as oxygen is delivered, which is important for wound healing. But this is only one very, very quick effect. On a cellular level, we know that the fibroblasts, meaning connective tissue cells below that need to close really the, uh, the lack of tissue, they start to proliferate. That means the cells divide and become more and more. So the wound is closed by the, uh, from the depth. 
and the keratinocytes, the human skin cells covering the wound, they will start to migrate. So we switch on proliferation, cell division and cell migration and this finally closes the wound. One of the very important thing I say about Salsonic, it is, it is innocent. There is no side effect with the treatment with Salsonic and uh, it's acceptable with the price and it save a lot of money from hospitals, if you measure it on a country level, it saves time for the patient uh, to keep up and down to the hospital, seeing specialist nurse in diabetic or in ulcer clinic in the hospital here and there in the country, and uh, uh, it, 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 uh, uh, it saves um, time and money. Amazingly, we don't see any side effects of the uh, Salsonic treatment. In some patients that already have um, um, wounds that are, uh, that are very painful by themselves, of course, it can hurt a little bit, but most, pa uh, most patients, the large majority, they don't feel anything at all. So they just do the treatment and I ask them if everything's okay. They say, of course, yes, they smile at me during the treatment. So there are no side effects at all. We have uh, the entire facility for developments, production, testing. We have in-house laboratory to test the EMI, conducted emission, radiated emission, and the safety testing. So we ensure that uh, the device which enters the market is perfect.